Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to talk about the business of hand pollinating squashes. Now I'm growing these squashes indoors. This is a wintergreen squash. They'll produce fruit later in the year. One of the problems of growing indoors is that they tend to be less visited by insects. So I do have problems. I've had problems in past years where the fruits haven't been pollinated and they haven't produced good fruit. I'm going to show you an example of that. If we look in here, you can see there's a little failed fruit there. It's very sad, it's gone yellow, the flower's rotted off the end, and that's gonna fall off in a couple of days time. So that is a failed fruit that we're looking at there. But if we look over here, this is one I hand pollinated a couple of days ago, and you can see the flowers come off and it's produced a nice green healthy fruit. So that's going to develop into something good that is. So, how do we go about hand pollinating? Well, first of all, we need to know the difference between male and female flowers. It's actually fairly straightforward once you get your eye in. So, this is a male flower, and you'll notice it's got a long stem, long thin stem, but there's no swelling at the base of the flower. But if we look over here, and this is the one I want to pollinate, this is a female flower. So, similar looking flower, but it hasn't got the long stem and it's got a swelling at the base. So that's what's going to develop into the fruit. So the way I'm going to do this is to simply cut this flower off and introduce it to this flower over here. And if you want to put some romantic music on in the background, that's entirely up to you. So first things first, let's cut this one off. And there we go. And what I want to do is to actually peel this back so that I can see the pollinating parts of the flower. It's not a very elegant process, this. And there we go. And I'm going to take it over to the female flower. And this is a little bit tricky, it has to be said. It's not the easiest thing to do, but can you see inside the flower, we have these pollinating parts and they are quite different, yes? Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to rub it around the center of this female flower. And you do need to get right in there and I want to do this for a good number of seconds. I think probably about 20 seconds is advisable. So you're making sure that the pollen from the male flower is well distributing on the female flower. And when I remove this in a little while, it does seem like a very invasive process this, and it does seem to make a mess of the flower, but I can assure you it's going to be okay. So when I take that away, can you see that the pollen from here is now on here? Lots of little fine particles of pollen there. Okay, so that's literally all I have to do now. So that will produce a, a fruit now, it'll properly set. And um, I fully expect that I'm going to have to do that with all these flowers in my conservatory this year, because um, last year I, I left it a bit more up to the fates and um, relied on insects a bit more. And even though I leave my doors open, um, I wasn't getting enough um, insects in, so I was I had a very few fruits last year. So this year I'm going to be right on it and I'm going to make sure I hand pollinate all of them that emerge.